Welcome back to the Magnetic Marketing Saga. How do you change the attractive character? I think any kind of internet business needs to, to know and to understand is how to create and develop your own attractive character. How is this gonna work? Can we bring somebody else in? Is the community gonna like them? Are they gonna connect with them? It's even though it's scary, it's important for us to open those things up and share with people because when they see that, that's what's gonna get them to be interested enough to follow you. People don't connect today with brands, they connect with people. You're listening to Marketing Secrets with your host, Russell Brunson. Hey, this is Russell Brunson. Welcome back. Today, we're talking about the Magnetic Marketing Challenge. And this is important because Obviously, we've done a lot of challenges in ClickFunnels and Marketing Secrets and all our different businesses, but this one was different because one of the major goals of this challenge was to actually change the attractive character. And that's what I want to talk about today because when you hear the, the concept of attractive character, right? Because I talk about it in all three of my books, .com Secrets, Expert Secrets, Traffic Secrets. I always talk about having an attractive character. And the pushback I give from you is because I see it. I see in the DMs, I see the messages, I see the posts online. It's like, I don't want to be an attractive character because then I can never sell my business, right? And that's what people always say. So. A lot of times they don't become the attractive character and their business never gets to the spot where it can be sellable anyway. Especially in today's world, like having an attractive character is one of, if not the most important things because people don't connect today with brands, they connect with people. You ask my kids like, what's the biggest drink in the world? They're like, I don't know. And then I'm like, who's the biggest YouTube in the world? They're like, Logan Paul. I'm like, what's his drink? Prime. Like they know instantly, right? Because they don't connect with Prime, they connect with Logan. The fastest growing sports drink in history. That's the thing people understand. So. Having attractive character is essential to be able to grow, to be able to connect people to like traffic, ads, connections, selling, all stuff is based on a character. So as you guys know, Dan Kennedy is the attractive character in that business. And it's interesting because when Dan sold the company, sold it to Bill Glazer and then Bill Glazer co-branded together. So it was Dan and Bill. In fact, he even changed the name from, I think it was Kennedy Inner Circle at the time. He, he changed it to Glazer Kennedy Inner Circle. It became GKIC for all the old school people. You remember it was GKIC for a decade after Bill sold it to another company. They actually, it was interesting. They actually um, tried to get rid of the attractive character. Like, what? we don't need Dan. We have all the training. And they tried to like almost snuff Dan out, which is weird. You cover the attractive character and sales went down in the company to the point where eventually I was able to buy it. Now, when I bought it, for me, obviously, Dan is still the attractive character, but Dan also isn't going to do what I do as an attractive character, right? I'm on Facebook Lives and podcasts and interviews and I'm traveling the world. I'm speaking at events. Like, there's a lot of things I do that I'm not going to get Dan Kennedy to do as much as I wanted to. I tried to put in his contract. He would not do TikTok ads. Like, he just refused. I don't know why. He did in the contract, uh, was willing to write a weekly fact. So we got those coming in. Almost because like TikTok ad, but he wasn't willing to do some things, right? And so initially when I bought the company, I kind of co-branded me and Dan, right? Because we need somebody to be out in front. And so the first year of me owning Magnetic Marketing, you'll notice that I was on the sales videos. And as I was doing it, the role I was taking was not of uh, like a co-branding. I was looking at it myself as I was the reporter. Well, let me tell you about Dan Kennedy. I'm the reporter. There's this guy. He's my mentor. He's my hero. He's Dan Kennedy, which he is, right? So I was reporting on him, bringing back the best stuff. Here's what I learned from Dan. Here's what Dan's doing. I brought him to Funnel Hacking Live and I interviewed him. I let him be the star of the show. And for a year I did that, right? So that way everyone in my world, the ClickFunnels audience now became very familiar with Dan. They fell in love with him. You know, we've got five or 6,000 people now on his newsletter. Like that first phase worked. But after a year into this business, I'm like, I can't keep being the attractive character for ClickFunnels and then like a kind of a, a partial attractive character for magnetic marketing. Like we need somebody who can, who can take that role, who can be the front of it, who can be running the events, who can be doing the mastermind groups, who can like who could do all those things, right? When I had my day with Dan Kennedy, when I had a chance to fly out to Cleveland and spend time with him, it is at home in the basement. That's one of the questions I asked him. It's like, I'm being stretched thin amongst all the things I'm doing. And uh, as I got eat somebody who you think represents the face of magnetic marketing the best, somebody who is a student who has done this, ideally someone who's done it both in the brick and mortar world, right? Because so much of magnetic marketing is was based off of brick and mortar companies, right? But also someone who's done it on the online and info product world. And I asked Dan that like, who, is there somebody who you know who could be that person? And it was cool because he wasn't like, well, here's five people you could pick from. Uh, he came back to me and said, there's one. He's like, the person I would recommend is Marty Fort. I'd, I'd met Marty once, I'd seen him, but I didn't really know much of his story. I'm like, well, tell me a story. And he said, well, Marty had a music school, like a brick and mortar physical location. People came and learned music from him, right? And when he learned about magnetic marketing, Dan Kennedy, based marketing, he went and he blew up that school, applying magnetic marketing to physical, like actual stores. Then he said, he got so good at that. He said, I'm going to teach other um, music schools how to do the same thing. So he created information business and started teaching schools that. My name is Marty Ford. I own a brick and mortar music schools. I also coach music school owners around the world. I've been involved with Dan Kennedy and magnetic marketing since 2008. I found him through one of his books, which I think many of us do. That's really the way in. Dan Kennedy's just been awesome. He's been an amazing mentor and teacher. And now the info business is, I think he said, three times bigger than the other one. Now, here's the big thing, everybody at home. Please take this to heart. 
The coaching business makes more income than all three schools combined. Because they've done both sides of it, right? He's a Dan Kennedy disciple like me who who followed him and said that he'd be the person who could kind of become the front of this. I messaged Marty. I was like, would you be interested? And luckily he said, yeah, he was honored. He, he'd love to do it. And so um, we started kind of putting the pieces together. It started with uh, Funnel Hacking Live. Me, Marty, uh, went to Dan Kennedy's hotel room and we spent time kind of talking about how this whole thing would work. The next level for everything in this business, we we need somebody who can be more of uh, an active face of doing like, so like doing online challenges. It's an honor for me to be even in this discussion. So whatever you gentlemen need me for. And so that was kind of the game plan. Obviously we still have, Dan is still the attractive character of the company. He's the core personality, right? His, his core teachings, trainings, frameworks, philosophy, everything that we're leveraging. But Marty, we want to transition to be the front. And so I thought the best way to start that is by doing a challenge. That way everybody in the community can be introduced to him. But at the same time, we don't want to lose, we don't want to lose Dan in the, in the equation, right? I've seen a lot of people who have, in fact, other people who had bought Dan's company in the past. I've seen other people who've tried to do this. They try to take the guru out of it. They try to take that person out. And when they snuff out the voice that people are there to hear, that's when things collapse. The vision I has we were creating this is if you've ever been to Tony Robbins UPW, Tony used to teach for four days. The whole event was Tony teaching. Like four days of him getting you in state, you're jumping around, you're doing a bunch of stuff. Eventually Tony's voice started going, you know, started losing his voice. That's why, you know, that's why Tony talks like this now. I got really excited and then that made me more effective in business. Because he was doing so many events, his voice was having problems. But then Tony brought in um, someone named Joseph McClendon. And anyone who's ever been to UPW, you know Joseph McClendon. He's kind of this sub attractive character, right? And uh, Joseph now runs the days that Tony's out there. So Tony's there day one of three. And then uh, Joseph McClendon teaches day two and four. But what's cool is that Joseph doesn't just get up there and like now start teaching Josephisms for the next, you know, the entire day. He's there to talk about like how he's applied Tony's principles. Then they push it back and they show videos of Tony. Tony goes and teaches it. Joseph comes back out, reinforces it. And they keep doing that for the, for the other two days. And so I was like, if we could do something like that, that would be the magic. Because I'm sure, yes, I could pay Dan. We could weave Dan into this challenge and be amazing. But like, I don't, what's going to happen someday when Dan's done, when he retires or whatever, right? We needed to figure out the model today so it could be sustainable over time. And so uh, for the challenge, I made Marty the face of it. Marty was the face we talked about, like when people opted in that it had Marty's, you know, Marty and Dan Kenny's face on the registration page. After people registered for the challenge, the on the thank you page, we had an upsell for um, for the No BS newsletter, right? For the Mifki. And so we had Marty actually do the one who was actually pitching that, right? He said, you know, I'm excited to be spending time with you guys over the next five days. I'm one of Dan Kennedy's students. I love him. Uh, I want to be your lead trainer over the next five days. And so I just wanted to say hi. And by the way, this is why you need a newsletter. And he was able to talk about what it's meant in his life, why it's so important, and why they need to buy it. Right? So we were able to use him as an attractive character there. Then when the challenge actually started, again, Dan was not part of the challenge. Instead, it was Marty teaching a principle or philosophy, showing how to apply it to his business. And then we pushed it to video of Dan from the past. Dan teaching one of his Renegade Millionaire seminars or one of his half day events or one of his uh, you know, super conference or info summits, teaching the principle we needed. And that's what we did for the five days, back and forth and back and forth. Obviously for me, I was a little nervous because it's it's different, right? Like, like how is this going to work? We bring somebody else in. Is the community going to like him? Are they going to connect with him? Is he going to be able to sell at the end of it, right? Like, Help me welcome your host to the stage, Marty Ford. All right. Marty sells people at his events, but he doesn't sell them the way that I thought I like to sell, right? Like he, he had never done a challenge before. So we had to go back and sit down and with him spend time leading up to like teaching him, okay, here's the challenge framework. I had to teach him the perfect webinar, right? Because perfect webinar script is basically, that's what the challenge funnel is, right? So I teach them like, like how to structure the content for day one, two, three, four, five. And then we get to the to the offer. How do you structure the pit, the stack and the close? And like, and so we had to go through all that with him. And man, Marty's like a an amazing student. He was studying, he was learning. He was like writing and rewriting and pitching and practicing. And like, it was just awesome. And so when we got down to it and the challenge actually happened, um, he went in there and did an amazing job. You did great. Welcome to the Welcome to the I was back there like, yeah, Welcome I'm not doing a stack. Someone else is doing it. They're killing it. <laughs> but, you know, when all said done, like, only thing that really matters in the end of the day is like, do people buy on day four? If they did, it worked. If they didn't, then something was wrong in the way. So this was kind of, for Marty, this was basically a trial run to see if he could actually do it, right? And uh, what's cool is that we went through the whole process just from the registration page. Right? People register and on the thank you page, we had the Mifki offer that pushed people into No BS Newsletter. I think we had 600 people the side of the newsletter, which was a huge win, adding 600 people to continuity before the challenge even started is always a big win, right? And then we did the challenge, day one, day two, day three, and then day number four is where Marty had the first, his first chance, the first time ever doing the stack and the close, which again, if you've been in my world, you've studied the perfect webinar, um, it's the secret, it's the, it's the most powerful thing I can teach about a close sales to the masses is the stack and the close, and uh, he executed it flawlessly. You guys give Marty a huge round of applause. And uh, we saw the sales start flying in that day, next night, the next day he did kind of a repitch, which was great as well. 
and then we watched um, over the next 48 hours before we, as we did the cart close down sequence, the sales kept coming in for uh, the $1,000 uh, offer that we made at the end of it. And when all said and done, uh, over a quarter million dollars in sales, over $250,000 we made from uh, the pitch that Marty did uh, during the challenge. And so it was fun. Now, obviously I could spend this podcast talking about challenge structure and format, but that's not the point of this, right? This was us saying, okay, we need to do um, something to bring another track to care. Someone who in five years from now, 10 years from now that the community can connect with, they can understand so many people, especially people in the past who bought Dan's company, they want to make it about them. Like, oh, look, I'm the owner, I'm the person. And for me, it's like, I want Dan to be the superstar. Like, I, like this is not about me propping myself up. This is about propping Dan up. And Marty did such a good job of like being willing to do that, right? And so I, I wanted him because like for the next five, 10 years, like he's the kind of person who continue to prop up Dan and he'll get all the significance he wants and needs, but he'll do that by propping up Dan and telling the story about Dan Kennedy and how he's changed his life and uh, the philosophies and principles. I think that, um, especially after the first run, I'm excited. Uh, we have the next few things set up with Marty to keep going forward, but uh, my goal and my hope, my dream is that he'll be the, the forward facing attractive character of magnetic marketing moving forward for the next decade or more. As we're moving forward, we have live stuff we're doing with Dan. We're filming each of these pieces, knowing that this may be a challenge in the future. This might be a webinar in the future. This might be a live event, you know, like, and so we're trying to capture as many of those things as possible with Dan while we've got him uh, before he retires and does whatever he's going to do in his future. Uh, but the biggest uh, success for me was like understanding how to put in an attractive character that takes the weight off of yourself. And so for you, I want you to think about the same thing. I am a big believer that you need an attractive character to launch your business. It's the thing that gets it off the ground. It's the connection. It's the, the, the relationship with you and the audience initially understanding like, Hey, if I want to sell someday, I can't, it can't just be me. Right. I've seen people successfully do where there's a man, they bring in a female face. Now it cuts the workload in half. Right. Or they bring in three women and three men. And also they, they become one of many experts, but it initially still starts with one as the attractive character using that to get the business off the ground, get it into the stratosphere. And then it starts thinking strategically, okay, how do I start replacing myself in different places? You know, this is happening in the ClickFunnels ecosystem over the next 24 months or so. Um, and this is all part of a long-term strategic uh, play. So that someday if I decide I want to retire, I'll go read a book or go write some more books or whatever I want to do that won't affect the health of the actual business. And you do that by kind of thinking strategically about how to replace yourself as an attractive character moving forward. So hope this helps you guys as you're looking through. There's a big magnetic marketing update. Again, the company is thriving. It's having, I'm having so much fun with it. And the best part about this is I got a fax from Dan this weekend. Uh, Cause you know, like Dan's my hero. He's my mentor. He's like the person when I first got into this business. I always wanted to impress him. And I didn't want to come into this business to be the guy who was trying to like, you know, leverage him to get credibility. And I wanted like to put him on a pedestal. And so at the end of the fact, his best Dan, and they said, P.S., it is a pleasure working with you. And I believe that we are doing good work. What I hear from present and past members and clients who are our members is all positive, which never happened with any of the previous owners, even back to Bill, uh, which is literally the greatest compliment I could have possibly gotten from Dan. So uh, that said, we've got a lot of work to do with magnetic marketing, more cool things coming. We've got some cool new books coming out. Dan and I are co-authoring a book right now. Some really fun stuff. So I'm excited to share it all with you guys. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. If you're not a member of the No BS newsletter yet, uh, surprise, surprise, it is officially sponsoring this video and this podcast. So go to nobsletter.com. Go get your uh, huge money-making kit. I think you get like $11,000 with the money-making goodness for free when you sign up for the No BS newsletter. So go to nobsletter.com to go get that. And uh, there's my shameless plug. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for listening. And we'll talk to you all soon.